Well, welcome back to the Gempire, everybody. I'm on vacation, sitting in my old bedroom, and determined that I wanted to check out all the Gold Rush changes that went on. I saw they patched recently. First things first is I bumped on an old save file, and uh, you had to drive all the way out here past the freaking gas station. You had to cut through the woods here. It said you had to come to the hotel to start season two. So that's what we're doing now. Use. Drilling the rocker. Okay, sounds good. See so there. So that sucks. Let's see how it goes. I was hoping it would have kept my machinery on the claim and whatnot, but I guess it's rebooting entirely. Okay then. Don't show me this message again. Seriously. I don't like that this stuff auto opens, so I guess we just reboot it. I should just start a new save file. What was the point of that? That's freaking weird. Well, we put it in dollar mode for now, so let's just go snag alone and get a couple of machines and see what's going on. I see they restored the truck speed, which is nice. I don't know what this means, but it's a new way to waste your money, it looks like. Let's just take it to the max. But yeah. I'm probably just going to do this one video. Let's take it to 10. While out and about on vacation. But I had to. I was very curious. And the baby was awake, not chilling out. So I figured if I left the room, maybe she'd calm down some. But, yeah, here I am sitting in my old bedroom. I haven't lived at my parents' house in a long time, so it's, this changes. The vacation's going great. Everybody's doing well. And I mainly just wanted to pop on here and see the drill machine more than anything. So that's what we're going to take a look at right now. Uh, when I do get back home, this will be a daily live stream again for a while. As we figure out the, um, the new systems and everything. And, yeah, I noticed this. The first time I walked through here earlier today, Frankenstein, which looks freaking amazing to buy that DLC. So it's the big old conveyor thing that you see in the game, the the, the uh, TV show a lot. And they also added some stuff down here, which looks pretty nice. Um, gravel pump, planter. I don't know what that's about. Is that for like big nugs or something? I don't even know. And of course, T-Rocker, all this stuff. But all we really care about right now is two things. Drill machine. One. I like this dollar mode. I know I'm a cheater right now, guys, but we're just checking out content. Reinforced trawl, that looks nice too. We're purely just checking out the drill machine. So we are definitely cheaters today. And I don't know if I like that machines on claim button. So that's just a new way for them to have a place for you to spend your money, I guess. I don't know. Two whole dollars. Thank you, sir. Don't show me this stupid message again. Thank you. Alright, confirm. Two dollars down. Let's take off to old Arnold and let's just ch start checking out the drill machine here. I do know they also added another claim, the Nighthawk claim. So that'll get checked out eventually, but I know there's been a lot of bug fixes and a bunch of other stuff. And first thing I noticed when I turned the game on today was the fact that the, uh, the truck is fast again. It's like a daggone miracle. It's back to the speeds that I used to run at before they slowed it down because it was getting glitched through everything. So there's no reason to even log into your old save file 
because it just starts you a new game anyways a season two thing so just start a new save guys don't even bother with going to your old save files you can't use them anymore except for season one if you want to keep playing the original glitch filled game I suppose what those signs say old Arnold parcel nice of them to finally put some signs in so good being home right let's go check it out I purely want to just see gold content right now and see how that works and then we'll go from there I'm not gonna really use their dig tube thing I'm just gonna go with the flow here and see what I think so here we go let's park this here Oop, I turn it off so they have this new map here gold map this is old Arnold parcel so you can eat like you can check each square individually is what I understand uh, this shows ground levels right here so this is obviously deeper 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 in the sense that the ground is raised up so that's really neat there's a forest you can go to each parcel and see what's going on this one looks the best the new Nighthawk Valley okay so we're gonna start drilling see what we come up with lots of buttons but then you have the next machine button still which is cool does that do this work yep truck yeah that works much faster than it used to which is nice so we're gonna come out out here and see what we got and as I said before, we're purely just going to do some checking. See what's in the ground. Look at that. It's highlighted. That's very cool. So it shows each plot number on the ground. I like that. I like that a lot. Drill up, drill down. Then what do we have to do? Like hand pan it or something? Does this thing need a bucket? I probably need a bucket, don't I? Maybe we'll, we'll, we'll check the dig tube. How do we use that thing? Machines. Drilling machine, drilling. Boy, that video is really dim. So you put it down, it drills. Okay, it's drilled. Then what does it do? You bring it up, and I would assume you would pan the dirt you get. I don't freaking know. That's it. What's the second part? Okay, it comes up, and then what? What does it do? That video's not as dim. Oh, so you go to gold map, and it just tells you how much is in the ground. Oh, it gives you an estimation of what's in the ground. Okay, well, let's start digging holes, guys, and see what we come up with. I wonder if this is random or not. Uh, let's start with this one over yonder here just two views 169 lucky number 69 hey yo on the incline let's back it up we put the park brake on so we go drill down okay and it just does it automatically we have no control over that except for the initial pressing the button to engage all right drill up and then if we follow dig tube correctly this is really basic I wish we would have had to pan the dirt or something like in the TV show so then we hit tab go to gold map and right there number 169 it's a rich spot of 40% Uh, can we change those values? I don't like that it's measured in grams. Can we change those at all? Game. Unit type. Imperial. Freaking grams, man. No. Apply. 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 No. Apply. Yes. Game. Apply. No. 
All right, it doesn't want to engage. Whatever. So I guess I'll be just winging it. Whatever. So let's see. Let's look at that then. 13,444 grams. Okay, so that's not bad. That's a good amount of gold. Total gold there, 13,454 grams. Oh, jeez. How many grams an ounce? I don't remember. Let's just wing it. Got my calculator handy. Divide it by, I think it's 30 grams in an ounce. So they're claiming, if my math is right, that's 450 ounces in that spot. I really, I don't know why it's not engaging. Settings, game, imperial, apply. I'm going to apply now. Apply. Okay, well, that's a glitch right there. Whatever. Let's continue. So that's good gold right there. Really good gold. I really don't know how much it is since it's not measuring in ounces for me. But let's go ahead and measure this one now. We'll go ahead and do this now. Drill down. Since 69 was so good, good with the gold, maybe this one will be too. I think this is 68. Yeah, this is going to drive me nuts. Let's get out of the vehicle a second and see if it'll let me. Let's just do the new save. So, settings, game. Go to Imperial, apply, disabled, enabled, show up, yeah, sure, why not? Will you just apply? Nothing will apply. If I apply that, will that apply? Oh, that applies, though. Okay, then come on back. Nothing. Frick. Okay, well, let's just look at the map here. So back to gold map. So, 168. That gold's even better there. So that's a more rich spot, 15,000 grams. I think I'm right at the ounce quality there. So the richest is on the bottom there. And this spot actually has a really nice thick area of gold, then thins out and then thick again. But this spot's better and goes deeper. So let's just scan a few more here. I'm not sure what I think of this machine. Hey, handbrake, come on. Okay, you have to bring the drill all the way up. So let's check all four of these here. And this one. And the, the animation just does it by itself. You don't actually have to hold the button. Then once it goes down, you have to press the other button to bring it back up. And again, the animation just goes through all the way. Excuse me, I don't have to do anything to control it. Let's see how much gold is there. Again, a decent spot. Not as much as 68. So let's cut over to... 67 and see if that line continues. I do like the grid plots that come down for this. There we go. And coming back up. Very nice. I know that's a lot of gold just based on the gram amounts. I mean, gold is worth about 40 bucks a gram right now, I believe. So, I mean, I know that's a lot of gold. I just wish it was in something I could understand a bit better. And there's nothing there, really. Rich spot part. No rich spots. Okay. So it's just a, it's a 68, 69 right there. So that's cool to know. We're going to bring it all the way back to the spot that I used to mine, if you guys have watched me in the past. That little hump right there, I one time mined that. Is that 337? 
yeah, well, let's check 337. I one time mined this area and did pretty well at the time. So let's see what it's got these days. Because now it's supposed to be correctly randomized, and at the time when I used to play this, it was not. Sometimes that audio sound does not play. I'll bet you this, this spot's good. Yeah, look at that. Not bad. And it's all near the top. You just mine from 2.5 meters to 5.5, and then you're done. You got what you want. You move on. You should move, like, do the whole square. All right, we're just going to explore a bit, guys. We check some spots that we mined in the past successfully. Let's see. It was about... 381 is where I used to mine back here. We'll check that out. Let's see what it does. But I'm liking the looks of these changes. Uh, I'll probably be able to change it from Imperial to Metric from the main menu or some such thing. So we'll, Or from Metric to Imperial, excuse me. And then we'll be able to see ounces, because I know we're all used to seeing the ounces of gold, not grams of gold. 381 was a good spot, too. The pockets are spread out differently and they're smaller. So that's very interesting. Very, very interesting. And I always wondered about this spot way over here, so let's go check that out. Where I used to mine a lot over here. But I know they made a lot of changes for this season two, and then we saw all the new machines. This drill machine is the only thing I really care about, though. I mean, this thing is awesome. Let's come over here. I'm sure a lot of y'all remember me mining over on this side of the map. I did this a long time over here in this little gully. Um, 87, 88, we'll check both of those. And then we'll try and check 112, too, if we can. In fact, let's start with 112. Right there. Yeah, it worked. Very nice. We're going to check 112, 87, 88, and then we'll look at the map. I do wish this sound will work a bit more often. But yeah, guys, as I was saying, on vacation, but I figured I'd put up a little video. I had actually meant to do some recording of Gold Rush, and then I read the patch notes, or the update, that they were, oh, hey, we're patching soon, so I was just like, well, oh, whatever, I'll wait. But... I saw an update yesterday, and I had brought my good laptop with me, because I had I have to work while out on vacation. But uh, I figured I'd check this out, do a short little video of the drill machine. As always, thankfully, it's um, very basic, very easy to use, which is beneficial. Dude, okay, wrong button. There we go. All right, let's go check 88. And let's go find 69 as well and see if it's as lucky as 169. All right, right there. So we'll probably just label this a how to use drill machine video. I suppose that means I'll go over the controls here once we get to 69. Very, very simple though. It's got two buttons. You drive it around, you poke it in the ground. Very, very simple. All right, let's look at the gold map. Um, we were over here, and all three of these squares are just very basic. Nothing there at all. But this was really good, and then back here was good, and 381 was good. Let's go check. Because one thing they don't seem to do, at least I never had good luck with this, when I used to mine up front all the time, I was never lucky. I would never get good gold up front like this. So I'll check some squares that I used to mine in. But we are checking 69 first. Right there. Let's hit it. Bring that up. And then we're going to check 94 and 119 because those are two squares that I've mined in the past. Let's see what this was. 
basic gold. There's no solid deposit there, but there's still a lot of gold in the ground, which is cool. So next, let's turn and do 94 and then 119. But I will say, guys, I am bringing this back for a while. Uh, again, while West Online has been delayed. But now that this game actually has a lot more content to do, I will be doing more live streams of this. Probably some mixed in Let's Plays, because I do like the better quality of the Let's Plays. So let's check that out. There we go. Remember, you don't have to hold the buttons. You just have to engage the uh, thing. All right, let's check it. Cold map. 94. Oh, look at that. Good, solid, rich spot. Boy, good gold all the way down from 3.6 meters. All the way down. Very nice. And let's push on to 119 here. And after we, after we check 119, guys, we're going to go to the main menu and see if we can figure out why it's not letting us change to Imperial from metric. It's driving me bonkers. So I would rather, much rather see these values in ounces, absolutely. There we go. Let's go ahead and save it there. This weird save name. There we go. Let's look at 119. And again, good gold. Not as good as 94. But still good gold. Very nice. So this, this machine is great. I'm loving it. But let's go ahead and go to main menu. Yes, I'm sure. Press any key. Let's go settings, game, imperial, apply. We disable that then? See, yeah, that's another thing. Like I managed to set all these. What about alt enter? Then we try it. Metric imperial. Yes, discard change. Okay, well, let's just go back to the game then. Back to full screen. I'm not sure what did that. I'll probably have to fully reboot, guys, and I don't feel like doing that right now. So let's look around the farm real quick here. Doug 145 before, so let's check that too. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Ooh. I used to live in my parents' basement uh, when I was a teenager growing up. Yeah, I know it's a conundrum. Lived in my parents' basement until I got married and moved out, in fact, but <laughs> that's a story for another day. But uh, yeah, it's dusty down here as always, guys. So let's check this out. 145 gold map. Just normal everyday gold, and not much either. 4,850 grams. But let's get out of this thing. In fact, let's turn it off. Let's get out. Bruh. I said turn it off. Get it out. And I heard they finally made this work right here. We can link the hog pan into everything, and it looks like they finally fixed these stupid ladders a bit. Because they were always a pain. I don't know if they've done anything to improve the, t the quality of the tent, and it really doesn't look like it. It still looks tiny. But let's peek. Yeah, it's the same as always in here. I don't know if they've actually put the jars in that they claim they would yet or not. It looks like probably not. And it's all still the same back here. Which is cool. But so, guys, we're going to probably cut it there. Uh, that was just the basics of the drill machine in dollar mode. I want to get a little something up. I know it's not advanced or technical, but be on the lookout for more videos, guys. I'll be doing this a lot in the future. And we're going to cut it there. Make sure to subscribe and share with your buddies. I am on vacation right now, but I will be back in probably about five days. We'll be hitting this hard for sure. So you guys have a good night, and I'll see you in a few days.